uh, actually uh, first we have to understand what is hba1c hba1c is a glycosylated hemoglobin and it it is it happens with the when blood sugar is when there is a sugar inside your blood it it binds to the proteins fats and various uh, parts of your tissues and body and that is non enzymatic specifically binding to the proteins is absolutely non enzymatic so hemoglobin being the protein it the glucose binds to it and there is a this is known as glycosylated hemoglobin you know the glu- hemoglobin is inside the rbc so glucose has to enter the rbc and then it has to bind to the uh, hemoglobin so that is glycosylated hemoglobin now the life span of your red blood cell or rbc is 90 to 120 days so obviously this hemoglo- this glycosylated hemoglobin is going to give you a value of glycemic load of previous 90 to 120 days nearly around 3 months so it has been correlated that higher the hba1c there are more chances of developing various type of complications of diabetes maybe microvascular complications or a macrovascular complications now the normal value of hemoglobin glycosylated hemoglobin is not exactly decided roughly it is around less than 5.5 or 5.6 but once it crosses 5.7 the value is given in a percentage so if it is above 5.7 and below 6.4 in between 5.7 to 6.4 we call it pre diabetes and above 6.5 and above 6.5 we call it diabetes so higher the value even when you are in a pre diabetic state anything above 5.5 is going to give you a poor result in various type of issues maybe cardiovascular issues or maybe when you develop diabetes maybe it is more related to your complications so there have been lot of trials they have shown that decrease the hba1c value and there are cert- certain amount of specific uh, benefits in decreasing micro and macrovascular complications up to the tune of 30 to 50%. So most of the trials, most of the drugs, they take it as a target of uh, efficacy of the molecule, efficacy of the drug and also how it can prevent the complications, how it can decrease the uh, p- progression of the complications also. So it's a very important. So very important to measure hba1c every 3 to 4 month in a year. But this is one statement. That means it is very very important for monitoring diabetes but issue with that that there is no exact cut off one cut off value for each and everybody it has to be tailor made it has to be individualized most of the patient we should achieve hba1c value of less than 7% but that should be done in absolute safety and absolute safety means there should not be any or least amount of hypoglycemia so we have got now drugs which can decrease the hypoglycemia that means low blood sugar should not be there so safety is must but hba1c goal should be less than 7% in most of our patient but when there are more chances of developing hypos hypoglycemia elderly patient and many comorbid issues and late uh, stages of various complications you can have some amount of liberal target we don't go with less than 7% we can stick with 8.5 or less than 8.5 or even around 8% so the patient safety is most important then the target should be individualized definitely in most of our patient we should achieve the target of less than 7% so the stop taking medicine when you are your blood sugars are control or you are feeling fine of uh, one important thing it should not be done it should not be done without consulting your healthcare physician or doctor do not go by the guidance of dr google you achieve hba1c goal of less than 7% you are feeling better and you stopped medicine this is an absolute myth and should not be repeated should not be done at any cost because there is the diabetes per se has got asymptomatic nature when it increases the blood sugar increases you will not find any symptom in 50% of your patient when there are complications 
until unless there are late progression to the complication or late stages of complications you will not find any any symptom so this said it said clearly snake under the carpet now why we treat diabetes remember we want to achieve hba1c value of less than 7% we want to maintain euglycemia that is the glycemic control that should be there in a normal person without any hypoglycemia so that is our target and once it is achieved it has to be maintained if you want to prevent complication maintenance part is very important getting hb1c less than 7% and stopping treatment should never be there should never be there there but that happens in few number of patients specifically in young patients they feel i am okay i don't need any drug there is no symptom why and i am repeatedly checking it is less than 7% doctor told me it should be less than 7% let me stop the medication so that is the biggest myth and biggest fallacy in the management of diabetes and later on this these patient will come up after 6 month or 1 year and their hb1c value is more than 10% so this should not be done should not be done and remember another thing once you you are a diabetic or any person who is labeled as a or a diagnosed as a diabetic there is no reversal it will remain it will remain as a diabetes you can put these patient into remission that means you can decrease the medication you can stop medication continuing on lifestyle medication lifestyle modification but you these patient should remain in follow up because there are due to the progressive nature of disease there will be higher these patient will be coming up with repeated more chances of developing more hba1c later on so it has to be a regular follow up so remission can be there but there is no reversal you cannot go away from diabetes if that is there first secondly it's a progressive nature thirdly it's an asymptomatic nature you have to control it maintain hb1c less than 7% at all costs that should be there but the your safety should be there so never stop medicines never stop medicine once you achieve target once you feel that your glycemic control is there